This is a photo of Mi'kmaq regalia on display at the Millbrook Cultural and Heritage Center. Heather Stevens was a student at the center about 20 years ago and asked where the real regalia was. Because at first I was told it was none of my business. Um, and so me being a, a First Nations woman, being told, you know, it's not none of your business, well, um, it is. Um, so when I actually took over the management position here, um, that's when I started to take that role on. I'm like, yes, it is my business. I'm going to move forward and I'm going to get this back. Today, Stevens is the manager of the center and next week she is flying to a Melbourne museum to bring the regalia home. It's been a very long time that, um, that, <laughs> that I was working on this. So bringing it home it has been a long journey and to have it here for our people is so meaningful. Repatriating the regalia included Stevens appearing at the Canadian Heritage Committee five years ago for C-391, an act for a national strategy for the repatriation of Aboriginal cultural property. The act was tabled and dropped when an election was called, but Stevens persevered again and that's when I knew I have to spearhead this. I have to get this piece back home and so I've done it. Stevens says the regalia made by a Mi'kmaq woman from the Sabaganagati or Millbrook First Nation during the 1840s was commissioned by Samuel Haigu, a Canadian civil servant who died in Australia in 1891. He left the regalia to Museums Victoria where it has been stored for the last 130 years because a lot of our artifacts are actually stored in drawers um, that nobody is able to see um, and that's not what our ancestors would have wanted. Stevens, working with experts, says the regalia will be protected as well as any museum. It is an understatement for our Mi'kmaq people about not being able to know how to care for things and, and if they're in a certain museum right now, leave them there because they know how to do it properly. Um, that is a misconception altogether. Um, so we have the technology here to be able to do that. The repatriation will include ceremony. A specialized case to preserve the regalia will be the feature display at the center. So having it here not only means, um, you know, having people come in and share our history with us, but it also starts to have the spiritual, cultural uh, connection uh, to our ancestors. The regalia is expected to be revealed to the public in ceremony on National Indigenous Peoples Day on June 21st. Angel Moore, APTN, National News, Millbrook, First Nation.